Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn how to read a data of post processing mode of 3D building structure. Look at this building. If the building is in 3D or it is uh, so many floors, a uh, length and width of this building is very big in size and there are so many members so many beams and columns so it is very difficult to read data in stat flow now just analyze this one analyze and run analysis zero error zero warning go to post processing mode and done look at this this control button and scroll your middle button of your mouse in front side the deflected shape of this particular building if you change load from this table select a dead load the deflection will change select the live load deflection will also change select the combination of load dead load plus live load deflection will change select the envelope deflection will change okay now look at this table it's a table of node displacement and it's a table of beam relative displacement so there is so many members so many nodes so many beams if you want to look a value for particular member just click on that particular member it will highlight on this table if you want the data of any node, just click on that particular node. It will highlight in that particular table. Okay. In table, there is three types of data or load case available. Because there is two primary cases. First one is dead load. Second is live load. And the third one is a combination. So, software will show load for three loads a data for three loads first one for dead load a deflection in y direction at that particular distance second one for live load a deflection for that particular distance and the third one for dead load plus live load deflection for that particular distance okay and for all the beams all the beams or and columns present on the structure okay all the beams so just click on that particular beam it will highlight in this table go to reaction look at this the reactions are also so complicated so just go through this table look at the first node second node third node there is a support reaction in x direction fx fy fz mx my mz for all the three loads dead load live load and dead load plus live load okay for single load or any other single node just select that particular node it will highlight in that particular table or just go to select that node and go to view selected objects only you will find out only this node in your screen so you can now read a data from the working window screen okay one by one just you need to look the data for one by one just select the node go to View selected object only and click on reaction it will also highlight in this table and it will show data on your screen let's go to beam display whole structure it's a bending moment diagram it's very complicated for the particular beam to view values this Click on that beam, it will highlight in this table. 
in fx you will find out axial force in fy you will find out shear force in mz you will find out a bending moment okay mx is a torsion and all other all other things in summary you will find out a maximum reaction maximum bending moment maximum shear force maximum axial force the above table is for beam and forces it is the forces or bending moment and shear forces at the end of that particular beam at the first end and at the second end for the mid the maximum values this table beam force detail okay all maximum axial force it will show you a positive maximum negative maximum also and the there is maximum bending moment positive man, bending moment and a maximum negative bending moment also okay for all the three loads for all the beams maximum shear force maximum negative and maximum positive okay <coughs> plate just select uh, anyone like maximum absolute it will show a stresses on your all the plates you can identify with the colors like there is a blue color so look at this in blue color there is a stress of 0.033 newton per mm square okay if there is a yellow color look at this there is stress of 0.063 newton per mm square now go to results view value beam results and you want to see a maximum bending moment just click on annotate look at this it's very complicated for this also just you need to select any one floor or a single beam or a single column for clear visibility now i'm selecting a top floor and just go to view and view selected object only okay now it is very clear go to top view okay you can read this some data is also overlapping so for that just select that particular beam where data is overlapping to each other and go to view selected object only it will show uh, exact data or clear data whole structure like you can select any column and go to view selected object only results view value beam result and maximum okay now you can see a maximum value of bending moment like that you can see a maximum value for shear force just select any one column beam or any floor and go to result view value beam result and shear force maximum shear force and go to annotate it is your maximum shear force value for that particular column beam or that particular floor okay with the help of beam cursor you can select the beams okay just remember it go to graph if you want the graph of any beam column just select that particular beam and column the graph will present the right side of that screen okay it's a graph for bending moment shear force and axial force if you will change the load the graph will also change it's a graph for dead load only then it's a graph for live load only and it's a graph for dead load plus live load in the results also it will change select any one beam go to view selected object only and i'm selecting a dead load for shear force okay just go to result view value beam results and maximum shear force annotate look at this there is a maximum shear force of 8.452 kilonewton 
due to dead load just select live load it will change just select next load dead load plus live load it will also change okay so you can find out the particular values of dead load sorry particular values of shear force bending moment and axial force deflection torsion for different load cases also for dead load live load combination of load uh, in further lecture we will see wind load seismic load and so many combinations like 1.5 dead load plus live load 1.2 dead load plus live load plus wind load so we can find out a uh, different results for all the loads all the load combinations okay so in next lecture we will learn how to calculate a wind load according to is 875 part 3 okay thanks for watching this just try to create a report of this take multiple pictures of modeling force processing bending moment shear force all the data results and try to create a report Thank you.